for the year 2021 came out. Every Wednesday service has always been restoration and conversation. We have uh, uh, we have taken a ride right from Genesis. Hallelujah. Now we are in the book of Ruth. Amen. And our man of God has consistently given us a, a story in the light of restoration and conversation. Last two weeks it started, but it didn't finish. How many of you are expectant? How many of you want to hear the concluding part of the message? Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! So today the Lord has really prepared it and He's fired up to start with us. Amen. So let's, with a standing ovation and a clap offering, welcome our Bishop himself, Reverend Dr. Prince Nyan. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. And to that powerful combination performance they just did. Bless them, bless them, bless them. Amen. And thank all of you who took time to wish me happy birthday. I really appreciate that. Amen. Amen. And uh, from now up to Sunday, I'm still in the happy birthday. Amen. Yeah. Sunday will be the last day. Amen. Yeah. So sit down. God bless you so much. Like he rightfully said. Okay, so we'll have our interpreter, uh, our brother. Collins, put your hands together for him. Like he rightfully said, we are still on restoration and compensation. And I'm telling you, I've never preach on any topic so long like that. But I'm telling you it will never ever be boring because it's driven by the Spirit of God. And from the time we started up to now, testimonies upon testimonies are happening. We have seen restorations of documents, we have seen restoration of health, we have seen restoration of a breast that was one large, one small, restoring a lot of testimonies and if only you will position yourself Something unique will happen to you. Something mind blowing will happen to you. Yes, and I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost that whatever you have lost in cash or in kind Jesus. whatever should have come to you whatever originally is in your name whatever in destiny it belongs to you Jesus. and uh, for the sake of a delay for the sake of the devil or for the sake of uh, a working against your life you didn't get to inherit that blessing after today's service you will walk out of this place without blessing, without grace, without next level grace upon your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout and receive it now. I receive it now. Those in the house, shout and receive it now. I receive it now. God bless you. We are live on our radios. Azusa FM and Goi FM as well as Goi TV. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are dealing with Ruth and Naomi part two. 
And they to us a root and a Naomi. In the light of restoration and compensation. Amen. 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 I want you to know that God works through his word and his power. Anytime you go to prayer, listen to the word. Unless that church is not a church where they, they, they promote the word. For our churches, those that are, we came to pray, so we'll not go to scripture. But to me, I have found out the secret. The Bible says that if you abide in me, John 51, and my words abide to you, then you will ask. The word ASK means you will pray. So the word must abide in you before you can pray right. Now, as only we have, we come so the idea of pivoting. No, we have two scriptures. Now, as if in general, we are simply also. Now, we have a bit more interesting. Be so. How can you hear the mumma? It is no. Or say, Masem et no. We now so tell me. Any adibia obo bisa no. On sa ebeka. Amen. Amen. So, the foundation of the church is two. Jesus said you err because you don't know the scriptures and the power of God. A woman from the village of now was going to bury the only son. Then the Bible said Jesus came, spoke to her and touched the coffin. Before Jesus would touch the coffin, he first spoke to the woman, the word. Now, a baby, I know now a cross, a shade, a baby, my cropana, or mukosian, and a common or musha yesu. Now, or the Nesaka, a dakanama, a bofrana, a sorry, now some other than a sabaka, a dakan, or can assemble. In the city of Samaria, people were killing their children for food. And the president tore his dress because there was no hope. But a man of God spoke, and the power of God also came. Hallelujah. Was Samaria Chrono as a conquest yana and month for a fedia, a conaria de no omukum or mama, or penny an answer or hene ano or sabrano, or tia semno or tina tadimna, when ya mini pebi each in a kind yami asaman sent in. If only you will receive the word, so a tia semna to move the power of God will touch you. And you yami to me back home. So those of you who bring your children, your relatives to crusade, and you tell them sleep, 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 sleep. When it is time for the pastor to pray for the sake of I'll come and wake you up, you are making a mistake. And connect by hearing and hearing the word. And once you have faith, there shall be a performance. So let's say you see that believe. For there shall be a performance. I'm about to preach the word of God. So I want you to be ready and write something. Seven things that will happen in the year of restoration and compensation. Seven things. And I'm taking all from the story of Naomi and Ruth. Amen. Amen. Now we have come far. Let me just give one minute su summary for those who were, weren't here last week. We have come far from where a man told his family that where we are, we are, we are not making ends meet. Things are hard. Let's travel for greener pastures. So they left Bethlehem and they went to Moab. And Moab was a cursed city. A gay city. A gay city. From the days of Lot, a free Lot and Mercy. They came out of Sodom and Gomorrah. And so they lent their lifestyle. 
When you read Deuteronomy 23 verse 3, that curse was placed upon them. Nobody from Ammon or Moab shall be in the presence of the Lord. So can you tell me the you may say you may say now yet the enemy at all say oh be bear any more more obeying shall not be the full free mamba. But this child of God, let's say you may be moved to that city ignorantly. Oh free crown of whom a cosa and what grows on a only. And when he got there, now do you know that the shinia, which was the man, died. It's so strange the way the deaths happen. I see that was not enough. The first son and the second son also died together. The Bible said, and later both of the sons died. How could that happen? All the men in the life of Naomi are dead. Naomi felt devastated. And she wanted to go back to her land and die. She had two convicts. Into faith. Because everybody in Moab was an idol worshiper. But these two converts wanted to follow her to Bethlehem. But she told them that there's no hope in following her. And Oba turned back. But Naomi uh, Ruth was determined. Now, Ruth, they know what was seen in three weeks. He forsook both the mother, the father, the family, and everything and relocated. Now, they came back to Bethlehem. And when they came, it was a time when people were harvesting their maize, their wheat, and all the things they planted. Now, and that's where we got to last week. I told you how Naomi rented a single room for them and they started a quiet life. And I advised and counseled people who came last week and said that don't despise a small beginning. Sometimes when things become hard, Listen, don't listen to people who say that if you are low, it means God is not with you. The Bible says, even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall be with you. Now, now you can make cut there and answer me to my for say, say, what shall be a son? I say, it's a nice and crash any man and put up on fear because we need near a bit from our back. Amen. Amen. So, the Bible says that that is where that they started life and root did very well. Now, he said, Mommy, or oh, mother in law, I know you are, you are well stricken in years, so you stay home. Let me just go and do by day and bring the money for us to eat. I said, I saw me, he said, send your own fear everywhere. One day, I'm a friend, two days in the fear. Now, I'm a member for me to know I'm going to be running. And she started going. No, she said to her, Mom. And I don't know what about divine direction. She went to a particular farm to go and work. Now, to an amono, young couple, a permuna or to an amoko, a fubu, so a queer juma. He worked in the ha- in the farm of a very rich, handsome, and anointed man, and even didn't know that that man whose farm she was working is a family of the lost. Husband. Now, for this man had never thought of marriage. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
And last week I said, if you are too old, people tell you, and you are getting old, you are getting old, you have to marry, you are getting, if you are getting old, somebody is older waiting for you. Hallelujah. Because you may meet somebody too young who cannot be healed. Amen. Amen. So don't let them put pressure on you. It won't fall pressure to our you. God can do anything. Age is not a problem to our God. Come on, am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. So the Bible says this man called Boaz whose farm Ruth went to work Boaz has no idea of Ruth but when he saw Ruth for the first time can I hear someone say divine favor divine favor he said to the young lady young lady move to no farm stay here that is first favor. And favor is the favor is the work of God. Now favor I said favor is the work of God. So the first thing I want you to write is number one in the year of restoration. You need to do anything your hand findest to do. In the year of restoration, whatever thy hand findest to do, do it. Amen. Amen. Whatever. When you read Psalm 1 verse number 3, he said, it shall be like a tree planted by the riverside. Okay. And whatever he does shall prosper. Whatever. It means not specific. Whatever. Whatever he does. So in the beginning, you may not have something like this is your profession. But when you are beginning life, whatever comes, whatever he does, but the Bible says, you shall prosper. So can a young Etiba Kumumi and Sana was in a basic dear Asia Subantuna as so about our name removed. Until I did it here on Sabaka, so as all Shabra Basia, and you will be a bit more basa on San Kuka at the Bumo, and I did the Abu Wakum also Boma did not be here. Don't be lazy, and Yam Kadro. I don't support anybody who says I'm in the house, God has no work. Men for a baby or Casa Media with Tifia and said to me, Never, is it Never. You must create one. Or say with me a shish a ye baby. Why could not come and look for you? And you mama shish. Whatever thy hand findeth to do, Adivia will serve some do it with all thy strength. For one what did in the wisdom of Solomon. That's what he said. Send in Solomon Yan some more kind. We stand on a bent tree before we cut a straight one sometimes. Yet you know here at Chiaso and San Yet Chania at me. Sometimes you'll be looking for a straight tree to do something, and you look everywhere you can't get one. Then you see one on top of a tree. Then you have to climb a bent one to be able to cut the straight one. Amen. 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 You can stay home because you lost your job. It is not your hand you and lost. lost. And you will sit and I'll share it. It was your job. And you will do one, I'll share Your hands can find another one. We'll sell it to me, I'll share for flow. Come on, am I talking to somebody? God blesses diligence or hard work. When you go for a share and you maintain. When it reads Proverbs 22 29. Okay, we will say it's in a delivery, you might be no pronoun. Proverbs 22 29. See, yes, a man. Diligent or hard working in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before a man. Amen. When you see a man, Proverbs 22 29, who is hard working, he will stand before kings, he will not stand before ordinary people. 
Was this a woman or Nipa or yet see what the Juma wants? See ya and Obia and yet dream what Juma ya want. Or not obey denying you for him, obey denying you for him. Now, when you know Papa Huku, when you know Nipa and Papa Huku and you born somewhere right there. This is the word of God. So it means that God has instituted that He will bless hard work. And so if you do not like hard work, it is open to my and you won't want God to bless only prayer. Now, it doesn't work that way. And yet, Am I talking to somebody? Yes, right opportunities come to those who are forceful. Turn to somebody say, be forceful. Amen. Amen. Today I'm here because I realized that I have to go back for something. And what was it? In 2001, 2001, I FM started at Teman. I went, I bought four hours airtime for all night. By then, nobody, not ever, you will never hear anybody doing live worship in any radio station. I was the first to pick an organ like this. We entered into Adam Studio. Then by then, the Rasta Man Bosco was the uh, uh, programs manager, the first programs manager for Adam FM. He said, Pastor, he said, yes. He said, you are not sending that organ into that studio. I said, why? He said, because there's a lot of songs on that piece. I said, no, I want to sing and do life worship. He said, what is life worship? You are not sending that organ. Then I was standing there. That was when then he got a call. He got up to go and answer the call. I think I don't know whether one of the managers was calling him or something. He got up and left me in his office. I lay hands on his chair, saying, Obey! Yes. He came, he sat down and said, Pastor, I wasn't yes. there. He said, I don't allow me to do it for two weeks. <laughs> allow me to do it for two weeks. <laughs> Hallelujah. And if it doesn't go well, suck me. He watched me and he smiled. It's okay, go, go, go and try. Amen. Amen. And I started and in no time. Woo! People like life was true. Then what happened was that the the I did it for three months. Then I couldn't pay again because I was paying. Not knowing. He said, then he told me one day I was in the house. I stopped. I can't pay again. So I was in my house. Ah, I received a call. Where are you? I said, attention to where estate. Then they said, some people said they are coming to me. I thought, what are they coming to do? Then they came, they sat down, they said that uh, they want me to continue the program for the station. But, uh, and uh, if I do the program for the station, even though they will not pay me, and by then you can't even mention the name of your church or fellowship, but all that you have to do is you mention your own your name. And that's all. And I look at the thing, because doing life worship is costly. Because you have to go with an organist, you pay them. You have to go with backers, you pay them. Any other pastor when I don't, don't spend money to do program. But I have to spend money to do program. Because it's called production. And so, by then I look at the opportunity they were giving me, I said I didn't want it. By then, before even they brought uh, a so sir. So I rejected the offer. And uh, I came out with him and went down for part later, and uh, I was doing well. Then things became hard again, and I was trying to. Then one day I realized that look, when uh, a soldier came, he has become better. Um, all the other preachers, they have voice. Then I realized I have to go back and take the offer. Amen. But then they have, they have relocated from Tema and they have come to Joy FM. And I went back. This time it was a different programs manager. But I was able to get somebody who said, this man was among the founding pastors of Adam FM. And he brought life worship. And blah, 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 blah. So he told them, the current uh, programs manager, and the programs manager said, wow, then we'll see whether we can give you. But they said, the airtime is finished. And the airtime that is there, nobody wants it. A Sunday dawn. 
And Sunday dawn is an airtime nobody wants because at that time, let's say after Akuma is gone, everybody is preparing for the next day church. Who will listen to a radio at that time? So he said, the reason that time is there, nobody wants it. But if you like, we'll give it to you. But let me advise you, when you come on air, don't open the lines because nobody will call in. Then I came. Tell somebody, I mean, I mean, shine the corner where you are. So I accepted it. And the first day I came on air, I lifted worship with an anointing. After that, I opened it and, and come and see. As if it was a daytime program. Hallelujah. Amen. From that time up to now, my back, my front, they have sold it several times. No pastor has been able to spend one month full time. You can't survive. People will not listen to you. You will go, but I'm still there. Amen. Amen. So, diligence is very important. Hard work. God rewards hard work. So, in the year of restoration, I told you that you need to do anything thy hand find it to do. That's what I said. Amen. Point number two. Are you ready to write something? As I'm talking, the Lord is answering people's questions and meeting his, their needs. Amen. Amen. In the year of restoration, you need to pray for favor. Also, Somebody say favor. Favor. Say I receive favor. I receive favor. Favor is special likeness of people. You know, they like you, and you don't know why they like you. Root thumb favor before Boaz. Root in your Boaz any more dumb. He said to her, Okay, she said, Woman, Oba, I just want you in my farm. Me here or my farm again? When I see you in my farm, I'm okay. Me who or my farm? I say my my farm. Then he said, Would you come? No, I say, Oba, drink from my water. Me so this, I know, I know, I know. And eat from my table. Then did you go meet one of my son? Somebody said, God is moving now. Can you say, Nyako for a year? You must say, Don't joke with special likeness. And far or pet. And I say, a person go and yell. Before you can be president in Ghana here, I said, you must be like. I will obey my mother. I will say, power him. Lie by both. Your party and even the opposition, they hate you, but they like you small. I was say, who come who come for? I was say, power, or power them. And I almost saw you come and say, who be also almost power them. As much as the floating voters must must love you. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. So favor is very important. It's, I do my own here, you but you can't survive in anything without favor. Won't me and Jina ever keep you more proud? In the year of restoration, I want Shana more for you. You need favor. Receive it now. I said, receive it. Amen. Receive it. I receive it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you meet your destiny helper and the person likes you, be careful the way you treat the likeness. Some of you, your attitude is bad. Some of you, your attitude is bad. The reason you are marking time in one place is not because of God. It's not because of a witch. It's because of your character. They tell me what I said in Africa. When I move, move to another Africa. How many years? Musu, I don't move by. It's a year. I'm going for any fear by four. Any fear of concern. Musu, I don't move by. Especially the woman. And the kind of man. Don't. First, when you see an interest. Of a man in you, so don't turn him into ATM card immediately. Bear man and need your one and find your sick a crabby up. Amen. Amen. Many women cannot, you know, I can know at this level, I'm not too much a big man, but at least I am small. Amen. But I have an experience that cannot let me. 
take any young lady as a friend. I have an experience. Because any young lady who becomes a friend for three days want to ask for something big. And they, they are all like, you see? They want gadgets. They want flashy things. They want. But if you wait and build friendship, it will benefit you tomorrow. A lot of people don't know what. Elisha told Gehazi. Elisha Gehazi. When Gehazi went to Naaman to go and collect that money, most of you have not read what Elisha said. Movie kind. Very powerful wisdom. Elisha He said, "Is it time to ask for money?" A lot of people didn't understand what he said. Elisha did not say, Why must you ask him for money? Asking asking for money is not wrong. But it's a, it's a time to ask for it. We just met this rich man. He came to church only once. Must you follow him and ask for money? This man just told you are beautiful. As you ask for iPhone. Am I preaching good? Yes, sir. This message will heal you. It will clear you of nonsense. Roots has started attracting favor. But she didn't mess it them, mess them up. Hallelujah. Amen. When you meet your destiny, how about be careful? Amen. 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 Am